feeling when you realize you have no good angles. That's cool. Hey guys, I'm outside. Our laser engraver got delivered today on a pallet. I thought that one of our neighbors may have been moving because they delivered it from a moving company. They had to lower it off the back of the truck, take a pallet jack, drop it down. I don't know how we're gonna get this thing inside, but it's going to probably be worth watching. My car's kind of blocked in the driveway with this thing. It is huge. I am so excited to use it, to get it together, put it in our office, and see what kind of fun things we're gonna do with it. So we are going to unbox our laser so that we can get it inside. Charlie the plumber, Keto Shelby. <laughs> it is like a Christmas gift. It's a really expensive one. Should we take it out of this other box? <laughs> because it says to keep it. The camera guy at Charlie the Plumber is way better than the camera guy here. Got the gas station the other day. Guy goes, dude, is this you? Oh yeah, it's like I'm gonna subscribe right now. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> cool. Okay, so it's inside. We're gonna do a full setup video once we get everything unpacked and go from there. This is not a test, this is actually the top. Oh. <laughs> This little wrench will not tighten up these nuts. It's too big or too small. I can already say I wish there was a shock here that would hold it up. I don't want to see it slam on my head. But I do like the slow close right there with these little shocks that it has. Not creaking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, if it falls, you have to catch it. Dive under it. I don't <laughs> care what you do. Here's a little drain plug. You can use pure water or filtered water. So we probably should turn this on before we start filling it. Should we go up and get one now? On the hardware? Are we gonna use it now? The laser? Yeah. One million percent. Um, yeah. We're off to Ace Hardware to go get a hose. Because I got hose. Okay, yeah. Cool. Be back. So now we are on our way to Ace Hardware. Pizza Popolis. Pizza, pizza. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is just temporary. Toggle the main switch on the back and press the power button. This is our first time turning the machine on. No, not yet. Is this it? 
It is gonna be it. You can push it, but just I'll tell you when. I don't think my arms can reach. Okay, I'll flip that one. Wait. Yeah. Let's get a little satisfied. Okay, we got lights. Loading up. Fill the tank with water before use. Do not stare at the flame generated by the laser. I agree. Connect the Wi Fi. Uh oh. I filled this with distilled water so that it would be easier to use the funnel to fill and it only our water lines like right here so it barely even used a third of a water bottle so there's gonna be one that said pump pump yep. It was sucking water through, and you could see right here there was a bubble that wasn't completely full. But now, looking at it, there's no bubbles running through the tube that I can tell. So hopefully this is good. We ended up using about three, three quarters of a water bottle. At first it was only this much, but then after we ran a cycle of water through a couple times and filled it up so there were no more bubbles. We used this much of a water bottle. All distilled water too. So this. We lined up our test piece up into this corner, upper left corner. And then. And then we tightened that down. So, or, so that it raises up. So it's raising up. And we're gonna make it so this is just barely touching. Probably very close, which is barely rubbing. First test cut. First test cut. Oh. It didn't cut all the way through. It was a little stuck on this side, so the power settings probably got to get turned up a little bit. Or we had to have the table up a little bit more. Or that. But this is what it looks like, and it's like all the edges have this. It's Charring? Like. Yeah. Oop. Stuff like that, you'll be able to sand off. So that it's a nice crisp. Yeah. yeah. But you'd probably lose that color, but stain the but whole thing. But we can also, we're still going to continue to test the settings to find out what is the right one. Give me that. This is so cool. We're going to continue cutting. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you what we're working on right now. It is a Charlie the Plumber logo, so let's take a look.
this cut in particular will take about 35 minutes. There is a screen right here. I hope you'll be able to see it. It says it's 20, almost 24% completed and time remaining 28 minutes and some change. So we are about, we're about five minutes in. So it looks like it's a lot further along than it is, but I'm excited to see what this one looks like. I'm thinking that we're going to make some legs for it so that it can be on a table stand. Okay guys, well, first night with the laser. Um, we've been in here since about 5.30. It's midnight. <laughs> it's midnight. Um, it was a lot of troubleshooting just setting it up. Uh, overall, it's very easy to use. For the most part, there's some finalizing of some small things that you got to learn how to do and learn settings and learn all that jazz. Um, but you can actually save those as presets on the machine, which hopefully will help in the future. Let's show um, what we did. But yeah, this is, this is our first run of any test items and stuff like that. So these two were our first two cuts. This is our first one, this is our second one. Both are presets in the program. This one here actually shows us, based on the pressure and the speed that we use, how dark our engraving will come out. So the, if you put more pressure with slower speed, it goes deeper, it's darker, and so on. So that's pretty cool. It's a really nice reference point that we're going to have from here on out. This is our first little guy that we cut. And then the third one we did was this ornament, Charlie the Plumber. A nice little wooden plaque. And then our last one. This chemistry logo. Did we tested different colors, different shades, different sizes, and it all came out really well. I'm happy. What do you think? I'm pretty stoked. I mean, large investment to now try to turn into a company to make some money for us. Ugh. Um, we have a list of chores that need to be done this weekend. Shelby's going to Colorado, so I am going to. Press some of my 12 gauge shirts, shut that shop down for a little bit, then I'm going to clean my office out, and then starting probably Friday afternoon, I need to spend about 457 hours in the basement just trying to get that straightened up so that we can get going on having our shop, which then now we can get stuff going for Shelby in the basement for her to start staining and things. I'm going to be all technical, so I'm going to be using the machine, and then all the graphic designing. She's going to be doing 99% of the actual woodwork because she's way more patient and um, is very detail-oriented. So, guys, if you like the channel, if you like anything about this journey that we're going on, if you have any questions, we are firsthand learning everything about all this. We have no idea what we're doing. And if we don't know the answer, we'll find it somewhere. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of Google, a lot of Facebook groups, a lot of um, support groups for when we're crying when things don't work. <laughs> so if you like the channel, hit the like button down below. I think it's on that side. Yeah, it is. And then hit that subscribe button. And then if you guys want to go ahead and hit that post notifications, that'd be pretty cool too. So thanks, guys.